Good morning. It's Monday, March 2nd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, More Questions Than Answers, and our scripture is Hebrews chapter 2. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood, the Son also became flesh and blood. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in this way could he set free all who have lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. Many questions beg answers. In the letter to the Hebrew Christians, sometimes the questions seem to beg and beg and beg. This is not one of those times. For me, at least, this text is one of the clearest, most satisfying pegs that holds my faith secure, even in the fiercest of life's storms. Paul answers the questions for which my frightened little soul craves light. Does God care about me? It shines light on why the cross, and it assures that it's really possible to be forgiven. Peter, the other apostle, seemed to have been in awe of Paul's deep and complex insights and at times uh, more than a little confused about Paul's letters. He wrote in 2 Peter chapter 3, some of his or Paul's comments are hard to understand and those who are ignorant and unstable have twisted his letters to mean something quite different, just as they do with other parts of Scripture. And this will result in their destruction. With Paul and Peter, you and I can also understand the cross and the nature of suffering for our sins, as well as the gift of the one who's eternal, who became one of us to pay the ultimate cost. Now, If actions speak louder and more eloquently than words, then the cross is our assurance that God indeed loves us and forgiveness is not only possible, it's palpable. Forgiveness isn't some far-off question to beg an answer until it drives you mad. Forgiveness is a blood-stained reality offered from the best friend you could imagine even if you cannot fully understand why he offers himself in your place. Paul's throwaway line in this is that we humans live in slavery to the fear of death. And it's true. Those who, as Peter said, are ignorant and unstable may offer a false kind of bravado, asserting that they're unafraid, even go so far as to deny God's existence. But that's just whistling in the dark against their fear. The plain and inexorable reality is that everyone who has ever drawn breath trembles against the day they will stop drawing breath. In short, we dread knowing, but can't stop wondering what or who is beyond this life. We dread the final answer which we will all one day encounter. Now, for those who choose to believe and embrace the forgiving act of Jesus Christ on that cross as he broke the power of fear and death, the result of such trust brings peace that's unmistakable and makes little sense to the skeptic. But it's the answer that makes all other questions moot. For you today... For a believer in and follower of Christ, Lent holds preparation with humility and expectation. For the unbeliever, it holds nothing but the anxiety of more questions without answers. Should be a no-brainer. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.